Alright people, this is just a quick little fun video. Uh, pretty much the final guess of what I think TCG is going to do. So I'm gonna kinda put my neck out there, I'm gonna say that the ban list for TCG will go up on the 17th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Actually one of my viewers and subscribers actually checked the patterns and saw that Konami always updates the list on a Thursday at that specific time. So. Uh, I think that if it's not this Thursday, then it'll probably be next Thursday, but it's coming soon. So, uh, you know, with uh, OCG just getting their list pretty recently, and I definitely do think that OCG has influence on TCG. I think it goes back and forth, and uh, a couple of ideas are thrown around, and uh, while we do have separate lists and separate games, there's just some ideas that we agree on, a lot of set precedent, that I'm going to try to make the final ban list prediction that I can. And uh, just pretty much for fun, see how many I get correct. So um, I tried to get in their head. I tried to, you know, imagine myself at the meeting, seeing what they're discussing, throwing around ideas, and see if I can come up with an uh, even close or similar list uh, that TCG is going to do for us. So uh, let's go ahead and get it started. So uh, the adjusted list. Uh, I think that all the things on the adjusted list are going to stay. I think that uh, Konami felt like they did a pretty good job on that. And uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, on both ends. Uh, the performage is gone, Patola Miles, none of that infinity shenanigans. Uh, and while the Draco Pals deck uh, did step it up, the hits to uh, the Perform Power Engine were pretty pretty good. They were pretty good. They're not the dominant half. It's just you didn't really do too much to the Draco half, you know. While well, Lustre at 1, you think it would be enough. It definitely wasn't. As we saw, it wasn't. So I uh, definitely think that we influenced OCG to do a little bit more to the Draco engine, while our, us ourselves have to do a little bit more as well. So, uh, uh, the, But the Perform Out engine is probably maybe just a little bit of a tweak, but besides that, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and start. It's a perform uh, Patola Miles will stay banned, Damage Juggler will stay banned, and Plus Shire will stay banned. Alright, moving on to the cards that are going to be added on that would be banned, uh, Life Equalizer. Uh, we saw on the OCG list that they hit Info Life Equalizer, I'm, I'm not really sure if uh, OCG had too much of a problem with that uh, OTK stuff, but definitely on our end, so I could definitely see just us being like on TC Day and being like, yeah, there's some sacky crap with Life Equalizer and Magical Explosion Chicken Game like that, and they're just like, alright, well, how about you just ban Life Equalizer, then you won't even have the life points equal to even blow up a Magical Explosion. So, I think we're going to go ahead and follow suit. Uh, it's kind of like self-destruct -dest button where both players are like, hey, you know, pretty much uh, essentially almost like a draw. Because you're just putting like, hey, we're both at 3,000 now and, you know, that card is also sacky and banned. So, uh, put Life of Collider in the same boat, definitely. So, that's going to be banned. And then the other card banned is definitely Norton. Uh, I thought that maybe they were going to go ahead and hit Instafusion down to 1, uh, that they're trying to sell 10s. But, at this point, 10s are sold. It's done. Uh, you know, I thought... Uh, Set presence, a similar thought was Construct. I thought maybe they were going to go ahead and put Construct down to one. If they weren't going to ban it like the LCG, and that was clearly on. They just, you know, banned it. So I think that we're going to go ahead and follow suit and ban Norton as well. So uh, that's it for bans. You know, five bans, not, that's not terrible. It really isn't. Uh, I don't think that they're going to ban Monkey Board. I'll go ahead and talk about that when we get to the limits and what else. Oh, so you have a lot of time. We've had that forever. So. Alright, so moving on to some elements, like I said, all the just the things, so Luster will still be at 1. Uh, monkey Board, I still think at 1. I think I think despite what OCG did, um, I kind of feel like they put Monkey Board and and Scout in like the same boat, where they're like, alright, well you get that one card, one pendulum scale, very powerful card, so uh, you only get one. And um, while it's a super powerful card, like I said, the Pokemon Pendulum list hasn't been too terrible, and I think, I think that... Uh, TCG takes pride in their adjusted list, so they're like, you know what, let's keep our adjusted list and add on to it. So, uh, yeah, I think Monkey Ball will probably stay at one for us. And TCG until next list, where they're just like, okay, this is, it's not working, let's just go ahead and ban it like the LCG. So, uh, despite some similarities, I think I think that, that TCG is going to pull back on a couple of things, and I think this is going to be one thing. And then, of course, Skull Curl like Joker uh, on one for the adjusted list, and of course, one in the OCG now as well, the Stratos, the Searcher. So, definitely. Uh, so, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the new cards that we'll be adding for TCG outside just as a So, of course, everybody can get this one right. Demox is going to get unbanned. Uh, he was in that special Yugi box where you get the three, uh, three uh, Yugi decks and he had his errata. It'll probably come out. And then hopefully Sangan soon as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and get his errata and come off banned as well. Uh, let's go ahead and Wavering Eyes. Uh, definitely called that one. You know, I was actually surprised that they didn't hit on the adjusted list that you uh, ban damage juggler but then wavering eyes was just free to go crazy. Eh. So uh, we have precedence OCG one 
We should be at one. Wait, right now, so it should be at one. Some people think it should be banned, but, you know, I, I definitely, it's a very powerful card, but I'd probably put it in the same boat as, you know, cards like Soul Charge and Regeki and all of that. You, you get that one Wayward Eyes and you blow your opponent away. I mean, hey, that's just the luck of it. Hey, it's at one, right? You know, so, consistency is definitely lower. You know, I mean, you could point a finger at just like, oh, Wayward Eyes, you get it, you freaking play it, and you just win. You know, you say same argument for, like, Vanities at the perfect time, too, so, yeah. So, uh, Wavering Eyes at one. Uh, I definitely think that Konami's gonna do Song Strike down to one. Uh, Song Strike has definitely stepped up its popularity, uh, recently. You know, uh, even in, uh, YCS, uh, Las Vegas, the Jack at one, the Rod Maze, the popping, the, the searching for Song Strike. So, uh, definitely Song Strike, uh, you know, we're definitely more conservative when it comes to back row here, and while they're like, hey, you know, you can have, you know, three uh, Book of Moons and three self uh, uh, three Crush Guard Viruses and all of that great stuff, and, and well, we already have three Crush Guard Viruses, and three uh, uh, Ring of Destructions, we're like, no, back row is definitely hit here, like, we're, you're not gonna run around, so there's no way that I think that Konami uh, TCG is gonna allow Sun Strike to be at multiples, at three or two, when we have Compose and Book of Moon and, you know, and weaker cards in comparison at, lo at lower numbers. You know, I definitely think it's under spot and, uh, you know, Judgment's way too powerful. Warning is to find where it's at and then Strike should be right there next to it. So, definitely. Alright, uh, moving on. I definitely think that we're going to do the Draco face off at 1-2. Uh, just I, th I think that the whole Draco hitting... Uh, that was definitely a big one where TCG and OCG sat down and they're like, we need to fix this because there's no doubt that the Draco engine was the most powerful thing on both ends and it was definitely something that needs to be tweaked in both game uh, settings. So uh, I think they, they came to a mutual agreement. Where are you going to put? We have, they're like, hey, TCG's like, hey, we got Lester down to one. They're like, you know what? That's a good idea. We'll go ahead and put Lester down to one. But like, when you do, and then TCG's like, well, you need to do more because it's still too powerful. They're like, well, what's a card that's very powerful? Well, face off. I mean, you get to go ahead and summon or place, and it's just so powerful. Like, yeah, okay, we'll go ahead and put face down, face off down to one. I think they're both going to agree on that. So face off, uh, face off's going to go down to one. Uh, emergency teleport. Uh, I, I think that we've maybe had more influence on. Uh, OCG on this one, but definitely uh, on our end, Emergency Teleport should be limited down to one. Uh, it's literally in a lot of the top decks. It's in, uh, of course, Cosmos, so that's a little bit of a Cosmo hit. It's in, it's in uh, Monarchs, you know, with the blue Power Rangers. It's, uh, it's in, uh, it's just a lot. You just see Emergency Teleport so much. Something from the deck. Uh, it's a very big no-no in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a very powerful thing, you know. Uh, cards that someone from the deck are often hit a lot, so. Um, emergency teleport, we, we kind of let you go. We kind of like we're tour guide. We're like tour guides at one, and then we brought tour guide back up. And as soon as we saw some deck to, you know, pretty much exploit the power of tour guide, i.e. burning abyss, we hit it back down to one. That's what it's been. Same thing with emergency teleport, you know. We, ha we hit the emergency teleport in the past, then we let it go. I didn't believe we hit it in Teledat era because of Krebons and all the Synchro shenanigans. And then we let it go because Teledat was gone, and we're like, screw it, you know, who wants to summon psychics? Now we're right back to it, you know. Uh, you know, uh, history just repeats itself, and this is a time where it's going to repeat itself, and emergency teleport should get hit down to one. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and follow suit with, uh, with OCG. And especially since we've seen Cosmos, I was actually mistaken in my, uh, analysis of OCG's list. Uh, when I said that Cosmos stopped playing Reasoning, no, they still play Reasoning. The, the Cosmos deck that actually did really well, and, uh, top, I believe top four, or maybe top two? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he made it to the se only semifinals for the finals, but... I definitely know uh, someone corrected me and said, yeah, he was playing Reasoning in his deck. And it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, play them Reasoning, send the monsters. Even if you call it wrong and you actually get it, it goes to the graveyard after that gets right with Call the Haunted, so why do they care? So, uh, you know, uh, while one of the arguments that you could argue for, uh, you know, uh, TCG getting the three Reasonings and the three monster gates is like, yeah, you know, well, OCG has it, you know, you know. And I could uh, counter argument that, you know, that's a way faster game. Now, I mean, look, they both went down to one. So, Monster Gate, we still haven't won. I think we're going to go ahead and follow suit, and Reasoning is going to go back down to one, where it should probably stay. Like, it was kind of cute to have multiple uh, Reasonings, but it's just, it's just a powerful card, just being able to call and mill your entire deck for and you're just another monster. Once again, another card that summons a monster from the deck. Just very powerful. So, I think that Reasoning is going to go ahead and go back down to one. Uh, moving on, we have the Monarch hits. I think, I think that uh, both sides sat down and discussed this, you know. Uh, uh, they kind of wanted to uh, promote a little bit of monarchs over in the uh, in the OCG over here. You know, it came back. It came out fairly recently and has definitely stepped up. Uh, but it's definitely a uh, deck that you need to address. So a couple of fingers are being pointed. You know, domain, pantheism, uh, 
uh, idols, and it's just like, uh, or, I mean, idea, and it's just like, hmm, not, you know, I don't know who to point the finger at. But I definitely think that this is another thing, similar to Draco's, uh, where Konami, TCG, and OGG sat down and discussed, and were like, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And they're like, agreed, so we're both going to do this. So, uh, Domain, I mean, and with how Monarchs do it, it's pretty much like another Floodgate. You can put in the same boats, like a Vanity's or a Macro. It's just another one of those cards that, they, you know, you have one of, you better use it wisely, you know, and so it gives you more of an opportunity to get rid of it, they can't just go ahead and use Pantheism and just show you through domain and guarantee that domain, they, they still grab it with tenacity and all, but at least it's not three of them, so, uh, it's, yep, I think that the domain down to one is a good hit, and then of course, yeah, Pantheism down to one, uh, Pantheism, uh, definitely is, uh, one of the great tutor cards of the deck, so slow down the deck, uh, make it a little bit less consistent, uh, with emergency teleport and, uh, and then these hits, um, Monarchs will be taking a little bit hit, but are they dead? Definitely not. You know, they can still be really great. They just gotta change their deck around, uh, both for the OCG and the TCG. So I can definitely see them doing something along those lines. You know, more of, you know, like, uh, uh, like Return of the Monarchs, you know, more of, uh, uh, you know, the Red Power Ranger, and you still have your Monarch Storm Fourth, so you're still, there's still something, it's just you're gonna have to go ahead and change a little bit. So, there you go. Alright, and of course, uh, once again, Draco, uh, Draco's was discussed on, I think, on both ends, so, uh, Nister, Nister, uh, I said Drew, everybody's, it's pretty much giving, uh, Drew credit for this, saying, like, wow, he, like, he discussed Nister, and Nister got hit in the OCG, and, like, I think TCG's gonna go ahead and follow suit, very powerful monster, uh, it's not, you can only use the effect of Nister once per turn, very easy to summon multiples, and, uh, it's just a very powerful card, you know, it's, you know, spinning back to the deck, non-targeting spinning back to the deck, one of the most powerful ways you can get rid of something, so, <laughs> definitely, definitely, I think that is just going to go ahead and go down to one. So, uh, yeah, there we go. A lot of limits similar to the OCG. There was, of course, more on their end because they had uh, other cards to deal with and other backs to deal with on, like, on our end. Uh, and while there's a couple of um, indirect hits to Cosmos, I don't think they're going to hit Cosmos too hard this list. You know, it's take their reasoning, take their emergency teleport, and then let them go and see how they do, you know. So, um, yeah. Alright, so moving on to the semi-limited, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say Sorcerer down to two. Uh, you know, OCG, I think they're, I think that OCG was kind of sick and tired of performing powers in general. They've had it for a lot longer. It's been crazier on their end, definitely, and, you know, this was their first hit. They were definitely on a performing powers first hit on the OCG, where they were just like, no, no, Joker ban. Uh, put you down to one, you down to one, like, we don't want performer pals here anymore, and then, um, uh, TC did like, well, you know, we didn't address the lesson, you know, our end wasn't terrible, like, no, we don't even want, and then LCG was like, we don't even hear you, should bullshit, no, just the lesson, you want that shit dead, we're like, okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and stick with our gut, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep Monkey Board, and, and Joker at one, like, we like, and, and, what's the card that was kind of causing a problem, a little bit of commotion, and it's still a little bit crazy, oh, yeah, that, that, that Dante disguised that sorcerer, so, um, should we put him down to one? We're like, yeah, I mean, like you said, put him, put him files, they weren't too terrible. Alright, we'll, we'll go ahead and put him down to two. Like, okay, we'll see how that goes for the next format. So I think they're gonna go ahead and do Sorcerer 2 instead of 2-1. Uh, uh, of course, Dante in disguise, uh, if you haven't seen the Vine. Alright, uh, no shameless plug in. They have my own video for me. Uh, but, uh, Dante uh, is another card that you could probably discuss, but I don't think, especially with uh, Gold Series, Infinite Gold, and on Burning Abyss and Beatrice. Uh, Burning Abyss, were they... Popping and doing the thing a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, you know, especially with uh, Phantom Knights, which is not terrible, but it's probably, probably where they want it to be, Burning Abyss. Um, it's not like they were at full power in the, the OCG, and as you can clearly see, OCG it did different hits, so I think despite, you know, going back and forth, that we kind of took different uh, sides to it. We're like, alright, well, you hit the freaking Enablers, you hit the Floatiness, you hit, you hit Graf, you hit Sir, and they're like, no, 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 you hit the freaking, you hit Dante, and you kill him, you kill him all, you put him down to one, and we're like, oh, damn, and you hit Skarn, no more searching, and it's like, and I, I, I want to say that Skarn has something to do with, with, uh, Sangam, because San, of course, Tour Guide down to one, we both agree on that, but San, uh, it's, you know, Skarn with Tour Guide getting on ban, I mean, come on, come on, so, I definitely think that that has something to do with it as well, so, uh, I don't think that we're going to hit Burning Abyss, you know, especially with the Gold Series. I think Burning Abyss are going to be uh, scot-free, that we're going to have three tour guides, and uh, you have fun with your three Beatrice, but Sorcerer, he, he's, he's a different monster. Uh, uh, Wizamai, uh, of course, set precedence, uh, they do have Wizamai at uh, one, and I, I, I want to say maybe they moved it up to two, I'm not sure if it ever moved up to two, but uh, I don't think that Konami's going to go to that extreme. Yes, if you go ahead and hit... Uh, you know, performing powers and Dracos and, and, 
and uh, Monarchs and Cosmos to hit everybody, then definitely the Magician deck will step up again. And uh, this is actually one of the first that, that should be uh, done to the deck, you know. But I don't think that they're going to jump to the extreme like OCG because they pretty much killed the Magician engine too. Uh, of course, Skulker Joker is still at one. Uh, but Ninja Wisdom Eye, you know, multiple Wisdom Eye is kind of like uh, shenanigans. So go ahead and lower the consistency a little bit, drop it down to two. You know, you don't have to get it down to one like the OCG, but two is fine. And same goes with Pendulum Call. I think that, you know, definitely OCG was like, no, 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 none of this shit. We're going to go ahead and hit this card down to one. And I think the Konami TJ is kind of be like, well, it really hasn't done much as of late. So maybe, maybe, uh, we like, we get it, we get it. If we hit all this shit, then it's going to step up. So two? And they're like, alright, fine, you get your list of so, two. So, I uh, think that Skull Cover Joker is going to stay at one, uh, Wisdom Eye is going to go down to two, and Pendulum Call is going to go down to two. So, uh, yeah, so those are all the semi limits. I mean, the semi limits were like the Super Reju, so no, none of that. Uh, and moving on to the unlimits, uh, there was a whole bunch of unlimits on the OCG, but uh, there's just not a lot of cards to be moved uh, to follow suit on our list. I mean, uh, for cards that we have at two right now, I mean, probably not. No. Probably not. Probably not. Not. Uh, there's something to talk about. Uh, no. Probably not. Uh, yes. No. 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 And probably. So, I got all these over here. So, uh, I think that definitely with reasoning going around to one, that I think, uh, uh, TCG Konami is going to be like, well, reasoning is at one. I mean, why don't you just move charge? Because if the, the probably the reason why they want to keep charge down to like two is because reasoning was at three. Huh. Anyway, why well, that's too waste, no way too much. So, uh, you know, I'm not sure. It, I don't think that TCG Konami has a soft spot for Inferno Rates, and obviously, OCG didn't get no fuck. They're like, three monster game, third reason is stupid. We, we fucked up, we fucked up, you know. And probably TCG was like, told you so. Like, we see, you saw we didn't put up Monster Gate, you know. So, uh, they're like, you know, who cares? You can, you know, light Swarms, you want to have three charges, who cares, you know. So, I, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be the first time Konami's like kind of took something and been like, hey, but you can have this, so. Uh, you know, front rights, I know it su sucks that you would have one reasoning, you'd pretty much be done, but hey, you throw a little bit of light swords in, a little bit more, a couple more light swords in there, and you got three charge, I mean, there you go. So, uh, it's a little bit less flexible, it's not like Cosmos are gonna throw in, you know, three charge of light brigades and light swords in their deck, so, uh, you know, reasoning, it's, uh, it's, it's a more hit to Cosmos while indirectly hitting the Infernoid, so throw your bone in with charge. So, I think that TCG Konami might do that. Uh, Tragodia. Who cares? No one plays Tragodia anymore, so Tragodia can go up to three. And of course, seems the card they forgot, Dragon Ravine, which I think maybe, uh, hopefully, uh, the reason why, and the reason why I never noticed this is that probably the reason why they kept Dragon Ravine at two is because OCG had their freaking Dragon Shrine at two. I didn't know that. I really didn't. So it's possible that uh, TCG Konami just kind of kept Dragon Ravine down. It's like, hey, it's like OCG. What do you have? Like, well, we have, well, we have three Dragon Ravine and two Dragon Shrine. And like, well. Well, we, we've been, we hit Dragon Ravine instead of Shrine, so we'll just do the opposite. You have three Shrine, but you only have three Ravine. Of course, this past list, uh, OCG went three Dragon Shrine, three Dragon Ravine, so, you know, maybe that woke up Konami TCG and was like, oh yeah, Dragon Ravine, we can go ahead and up that back up to three, so, uh, you know, who cares, who cares? So, uh, yeah, there you go. So this is my final ban list prediction, this is my final guess of what they're going to do. Uh, this is it right here, so I'm going to pretty much compare how many on the list that I got correct uh, to... Uh, the TCG list, and hopefully I get a couple right. Uh, personally, if this was actually the TCG list, I wouldn't be too terrible, you know. Like I said, it's a little bit more uh, flexible than the OCG because I kind of feel like uh, OCG, uh, once again, was like shit all. They're just like, we're tired of this bullshit, snap its neck, you know. And uh, sometimes uh, TCG gets to that, but I don't think we've got to that at that point, especially with the influence of Cosmos in the meta. So, I uh, definitely think that they're proud of their performance. It's They're proud of their... Uh, 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 their performance power hits to an extent, uh, just add a little bit more. Uh, they need to address the Draco engine, <coughs> a little bit of hit the Monarchs, Cosmos, and directly address the the uh, performance deck because even noticing like the Pendulum mechanic is so powerful that more and more cards Pendulum based end up on the list, and it's just, it's very interesting that uh, that the mechanic is so powerful and these decks are so powerful that. Uh, that you have to hit the cores of the deck so hard, so hard. Like, uh, you know, you don't, you don't, you, we haven't seen like multiple, multiple, multiple hits on a on a deck unless it's super powerful. You know, I mean, Shadows they got like what two hits on the list. Burning Abyss have like three hits. Necros have like you know four hits. But 
you know, it's like, you know, Cleese, you got, you got multiple hits. Oh, yeah, that, that reminds me, that reminds me, I actually missed, I actually missed a card, hello? I actually missed a freaking card. Uh, towers, towers, I think they're gonna unbank towers. Just towers. I think they're gonna go ahead and keep Scout to, uh, one. Are uh, gonna keep Sacrifice to one, but they're gonna unbank towers. And the reason for that is not only do we have more answers to address towers, but it's not like Cleese are gonna do anything anyway. With only one Scout and, of course, one Wailing Eyes, there is no tower curve, but definitely not. They're just gonna maybe be like, oh, our bad, sorry, we just want Cleese to be gone, we want none of that shit, but obviously n now with, the, of course, the, the Megazord and all that shenanigans, it's just like, who cares, you know? So, kind of forgot about you, Towers, I really did. So, yeah, Towers will, will probably get unbanned. And unlimited, too, who cares? You, you, you're on one, you're on three, doesn't matter. You're not gonna be doing it with Cleese, no. You know, you wanna go ahead and play Cleese and try to bust out Towers? Alright, well, sorry. N now everyone has Diamond Crab King, and some have uh, uh, access to Utopia Lightnings, and so get screwed. It's, you're no Megazord, so, yeah. So, there we go, that's what I think. Uh, so, let's see how many I get correct. Uh, like I said, tell me what you guys think your final guess in the comment section below and tell me what you guys think about this list Like this is actually the TCG list. Would you be okay with it? You know, or do you think like hell no we need to do more? You know, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I said I, I think it's either gonna be um, the 17th or the Thursday after that which I guess is the 24th So that's what I'm gonna put April May April to May, you know, cuz I OCG's list is of course in April uh, starts in April while you know, we may be like alright Well, we're starting in the middle of May or we're starting in April as well. So I don't know so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys when the actual list goes up. Thanks for watching.